what's up people in this video i'm going to show you how to draft a princess that bustia with an under bust cut and a basque waistline i'm starting with my pattern paper that is my bust point my nipple point my under bust point and my waistline the length of this the length i'm working with is 16 inches okay now from the top I stretched my tip like that and I marked um, 4.5 inches for the width of my neck okay for my neck width and 4 inches for my neck depth okay so 4 inches for neck depth 4.5 inches for neck width and after marking this the next thing I went ahead to do was to connect my markings together and from the center I extended my tape and I marked the shoulder okay I'm making this pattern for a customer right yeah so I marked my shoulder point and I connected it together okay now i'm trying to insert my armhole curve okay so i marked my shoulder point after marking my shoulder point i came down by half an inch and i drew my shoulder slant okay so i've drawn my shoulder slant here guys the next thing i went ahead to do is to take my bust measurement so that i can insert my armhole curve so i marked the bust measurement there see guys when i say my bust measurement just now i mean my customer's bust measurement you understand yeah so i marked my bust measurement and i drew my armhole curve okay so i drew my armhole curve around the armhole i came out by half an inch okay now from the bottom the next thing i went ahead to do is i marked four inches for my for my nipple to nipple measurement that's in between the the bust measurement and i connected my markings with a straight line okay so i took four at my waistline on that bust point and my nipple point okay now from that point on the left hand side i went in i marked 1.5 inches on the right hand side i marked one inch okay so on the right hand side i marked one inch on the left hand side i marked 1.5 inch for my bust here right so after doing this i connected my markings together and i drew and i connected my under bust point to my nipple point with a slanted line okay so i'm connecting my under bust point now to my nipple point with a slanted line and guys this is the beginning of our bust here so at that point that's half of my hand hole measurement which is four inches so i'm just going to connect that point to my that point okay if you don't understand what i'm saying just look at what i'm doing so from that half measurement of my armhole point i came down by one inch okay i came down by one inch and i connected it to my nipple point okay so i came down by one inch and connected it to my nipple point this is what we have here guys you can see that the bust here was very simple and straightforward to 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 draft now i extended that marking that drawing out and i marked one inch because you guys know this is a princess that okay it's going to short by the time you are done um, sewing so i went ahead to mark 1.5 inch and i connected it back to my armhole curve okay i connected it back to my armhole curve this is what we have going on here guys very simple very straightforward now you see the, the distance between those two points I added it back so that the bust point will be accurate when I'm done drafting my bust here. Okay. Now, because of how we, we drafted this bust here, we didn't take one inch on both sides. We took one inch on one side and 1.5 inch on the other side. I folded the dot together. Okay. I folded the markings together so that I can mark my under bust point and my waist point, which is what I did there. So we have like an easy marking. It doesn't look funny with the shape. Okay. So the next thing I went ahead to do, the distance between those two points, I added it back to my to my um, bust measurement because by the time you cut it out, it will short. So I added it back. So after adding it back, the next thing I went ahead to do was to connect my bust point to my under bust point and to my waist point. Okay, so this is what we have going on here. Very simple, very straightforward. I told you that this is a basque, a basque waistline. Okay, choose the one you want. So I marked two inches downwards and I connected my markings together. Now the mistake I here I made here is I didn't fold it, but I'll show you how I rectify this issue. Okay, so you want to keep your hand straight so that you have an accurate measurement. There, yeah, you want to make sure your hand is straight so that the lines are you know the same and equal right now the next thing i did was at my under bust point i came down by half an inch 
and in the middle i went up by one inch because remember it has an under bust cut okay so to get this under bust cut all i just did is connect that point to that point okay and connect that half inch point okay just like that hmm? just look at what i'm doing and i connected my under bust point to my one inch mark you can see how easy it was for me to get the under bust cut very simple very straightforward this is my own method some people they cut and they sell tape but i didn't do that now i told you guys that i was meant to fold before i draw the line so that by the time i cut it out it is the same it is equal one is not longer than one see now by the time i folded it by the time i folded it the line did not meet at the same point and this will affect as into it will look funny by the time i cut it on my fabric so to take care of this when you are doing yours make sure you fold when you are drawing the line so what i just did here was i folded it back and i just drew a straight line or a slanted line okay so that the points will meet okay so i drew a slanted line so that the points will meet and i still went ahead to verify if it's still the same actual measurement with my waist and it was same measurement with my waist so i'm just going to get rid of that first line we drew okay you can see that as i folded it and i marked and i drew a straight line you can see everything is the same now so by the time i cut my fabric it will be on the same level with the other piece okay now so after um doing that i went ahead to add one inch sewing allowance or seam allowance to the pattern and i also erased that mark i erased it out okay so we have something nice going on there okay you guys know that because of this bustier we created and other measurement that was added the ample looks a little far from the main you know seam line okay so the next thing i went ahead to do was just reshape my ample so that everything will look precise and put together so the ample will not look short which is what i did there i just realign the armhole so that it matches merges well with the piece of the bustier okay so after doing that this is what we have here guys everything is looking beautiful and put together another thing you must not forget to do is to tag so you want to tag one two three four trust me this will help you and save you a lot of headache by the time the sewing comes okay so you can see that by the time i fold it everything is together by the time i cut the fabric it will be equal one is not long one is not short okay so this is what we have here for the front part then i went ahead to cut it out this is what we have here guys for the front part i told you guys did i tell you anyway if i don't tell you i'm telling you now it is very simple and straightforward to cut to draft this particular pattern okay very simple very straightforward now for the under okay that um basque cut okay i went ahead to sell to gum it okay i used another paper and gum them together because of how i'm going to join it to the dress okay very simple very straightforward you can see how easy it looks the next thing i went ahead to do is to draft the back pattern so that's my bust point my dart point my under bust point and my waistline okay so from the waistline i went ahead to mark one inch for my zip allowance and i connected my markings with a straight line sometimes i used to wonder why zip allowance of this one inch you can do two inches if you want to <laughs> okay so for my neck depth i marked one inch and for my neck width i marked 4.5 inches and i connected everything together mm? i connected everything together you want to keep it straight around the the allowance point so that everything is precise okay so i went ahead to mark my shoulder point and i connected my shoulder point to my bust point because we want to insert the armhole here okay so i went ahead and i came down by half an inch to get my armhole slant and after getting my armhole slant i went ahead to mark my bust because it is time to insert the armhole curve okay now after is uh, marking my boss of course you know that is your boss measurement divided by four at my armhole point i came down by four inches and at that four inch point i came in by a half an inch so i can get a very beautiful armhole okay then i drew my armhole i connected everything everything looks good together and precise now the next thing i went ahead to do here is at the bottom 
I marked, um, you guys know the distance between your, you can do the standard four inches or you can also use the distance between your nipples. Okay. So which is what I did here and I marked, um, four inches. Okay. So I marked four inches and I connected it with a straight line. I extended the straight line to my bust point okay because the princess that in front is a little different from the princess that at the back so you remember that four inch point i at the armholes um point okay so i connected it to my that point you understand i connected it to my that point so after connecting it to my that point any edgy line you're just going to smoothen it in now at that point at the bust point i went up by one inch i also came down by one inch because this is not a bust here so you want to easily glide the darts into the princess that to get rid of the excess at the back okay now for for my dart i i marked half an inch on both sides okay I might have an inch on both sides and I connected it to that one inch point I came down by, okay? Which is what I did here. Half an inch on both points. I connected it to that one inch mark I came down with, okay? Now, at the armhole point, the next night, what I did was I took one CM on both parts. You can decide not to do this particular one. But me, I like to do it so that the, the some like sort of that the extra at the back will be taken care of. But you can totally not do it. I do it, most of the times I don't do it, but sometimes I do it, okay? Yeah, so I took one, one CM on both sides and I connected it to that one inch point I came up with, Okay. So I extended my markings by one inch at that point and I connected it to my armhole. Very simple, very easy. I connected it to my armhole. After connecting it to my armhole, this is what we have here, guys. Going on very beautiful. Yeah. So the next thing I went ahead to do is that's the distance between those two points. I added it back to my pattern. So everything is precise and put together. Okay. So we don't have any shortage or the pattern not sizing correctly now the next thing i also went ahead to do is i took my underbust measurement i marked it i marked it after marking my underbust measurement the next thing i went ahead to do is the distance between that that yeah i added it back yeah because you don't want shortage okay now at the waistline i did same thing i marked my waistline measurement the distance between those two points i added it back you guys pattern drafting is very simple it's very easy okay so after doing this the next thing i went ahead to do was connect my markings together okay so after connecting my markings together next thing i went ahead to do mm, guys all this saliva in my mouth has finished next thing i went ahead to do was to add one inch seam allowance okay i added one inch seam allowance and i connected i mark connected it with my ruler and i marked okay so you're going to tag um center front center back zip allowance so you know the piece you're working with so this is what we have here going on for the back guys if you've watched up to this point to make sure you like make sure you subscribe please drop a comment my channel is struggling help me guys please help me yeah so guys um <coughs> forgive me i'm coughing <coughs> this is what the back looks like very simple very straightforward this is the back and the front together it looks beautiful thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate do come back for more videos if you want to buy sewing machine i sell sewing machine at stitch a dress shop on facebook and instagram do check me out bye